Howdy dowdy. Oh. Hey. Howdy. Uh, I'm not feeling too well tonight, guys, so if I pass out, uh, I elect Wade to play my character. Oh, this will be fun. <laughs> Without a care in the world, he runs headlong into the horde. That's... Yeah, that's normally what I do. Okay. I forgot I was not here. <laughs> here. Silly. So we won, right? <laughs> I mean, Chat. we we won at D and D, right? Uh, no. I could have sworn we won at D and D because we're level three. Is that all it takes? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Level three and the party still standing. Everyone from the original when they were level one is still alive, eh? <laughs> That's what it takes to win. No, I don't call it winning. I just call it enjoyment. All right. <laughs> Thought so. There is no winning in D and D. Uh. I beg to differ because I'm winning. My, you, oh, you win it? You my have, past group, you, group had a player where the uh, the answer to how to win at D and D is to make the D DM inter improvise. Yeah, but I, I do I, that by default. <laughs> yeah. it, my game is a lot of improvisation too. I have a loose storyline, and then I improvise with what you guys do, and it changes the storyline. So. Well, yeah, I mean, it's the only way unless you're, I mean, literally running the campaign on rails. Rails bad. Because players will do just about anything. Like, take an entire planet that you've done and wish themselves off of it. <laughs> ah, that's what you, uh, let's talk about I was... You. I was thinking about casting my spell that takes me to the nearest, uh, the last church of my god, but there is no god, uh, no shrines of my, uh, of Celestian on the material plane, so. Yeah, <laughs> Rylan goes down. <laughs> I hear he does that every weekday night. Wade, <laughs> Wade's like, I'm gonna use a wish spell to fix this. <laughs> uh, uh... <laughs> I did clear that with a DM before I did. You it. did. It's perfectly fine. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Looks like we might have everybody in chat. I'm, yep, I'm still loading up right now. That's fine. I'm gonna go get my drink real quick. So Tony, for clarification now before we get in in the first line, uh -huh. these pipes or gauntlets, as I copied them out, if it does fire damage, and it can level up the spell, do an addition. It casts as if it was one level higher if it can scale up. Correct. Yes. And when it does damage, each damage die rolled. It's plus one per die, correct? Uh, that part I'm not sure about. When the wearer <laughs> casts a spell with a fire descriptor, I assume you mean in the damage. Right. It takes one extra damage per damage die. For example, fourth level wizard casts burning hands. Instead of dealing 44 damage, it would deal 5d4 plus 5. Yes, that is correct. Okay. We'll make sure I understand it now. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're closing uh, Opera again because uh, Opera's not working. 
There we go. <sighs> Did I just hear my exhale <laughs> on someone else's side? You might have also heard me grumbling about how I decided to try something new that I found at the grocery store. Mm, uh, are you drinking something? Yeah, I'm, I'm always having at least some sort of like beer or hard cider. One. But I decided to try something that was called a bath style cider. And in my opinion, at least at the moment, it tastes kind of like pee. <laughs> bath water. <laughs> no, no, like 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 how how some urine samples from when I worked for a lab and did urinalysis smelled. Hmm. <laughs> that, that that situation where when you smell it, you can taste it, basically. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like one of my first <laughs> college chemistry labs. Let's do mm. the vitamin C titrometrics. Oh. Everybody take, or half the group take, a thousand milligrams of vitamin C a day for a week. And then at the end of the week, everybody pee in these cups. Well. Yeah. Nope. Don't taste like it. Mm -mm. Oh, I remember what we were about to do. Oh lord. We are going to try to summon a genie to have a, him cast Windwalk on us, is that right? Yeah. Oh, that was the idea, wasn't it? That yeah, was the plan. Oh, so, we, so we could get there <laughs> a lot quicker. <laughs> Unless Strahd shoots us out of the sky for doing it, or the genie is not actually under our control and then attacks us and kills oh, us. Well, well, according to this ring, it is under my. It will be under the summoner's control. All right. <laughs> and also oh. the spell. All right. <laughs> yeah, that's right. We were talking about using the genie to <laughs> give us the really cool wind walk. Yep. And they have... first, uh, should we summon the genie first, or should I talk to the horses and the horses and donkey first? Well, I would suggest doing that first because the horses and donkey has all our items. <laughs> <laughs> or at least the carriage does. Uh, well, I mean, when we're wind walking, uh, carry capacity doesn't mean anything. Isn't that right? I am looking that up right now. It might, it actually might be true. So we can literally over encumber ourselves. <laughs> right at the next area with a thump. You and up to ten willing creatures. You can see within range as soon as Gaseous form. Well, that sounds like Taco Tuesday night. Well, Kinda in does. this cloud <laughs> form, a creature has a flying speed of 300. And is resistant to damage from non-magical weapons. The only action... A creature can take in this form is the dash action or revert to its normal form. Yep. Wait, does that mean that we can't even do perception checks while on this? That would be correct. Yep. Ah. yep. Mm -hmm. Like, it's uh best way, it's like a <laughs> I guess a speed train. You just see everything whizzing by. You don't really have a chance to look at it. Alright. Tony, are those gauntlets attunement? I didn't catch that detail. Yes. Thought so. Oh, yeah. Okay, I have a okay, and I'm just going to. From now on, I'm just going to, whenever I wake up, roll for my Tales from Beyond, which I guess is a three. All right. That one kind of settled. Should I, act, should I cast Speak with Animals first, or should we... I mean, is there a little time limit of how long we can... The genie is going to be out? I think it's an oh. hour. Uh, all right. 
that doesn't mean his spell wind walk do- disappears. Because right, it's not right. a concentration. Mm-hmm. All right. Paladin. Uh, sorry, I'm talking, uh, talking out loud. I just realized that. Uh, sorry. It's okay. All right. So. Canonically, we wouldn't uh, actually know all the pa- the powers of genie, so would we talk to the genie first? I think I'm just trying to put off. <laughs> oh, somebody cast uh, identify on it, right? Yeah. <sighs> all right. So it's literally uh, finding out about the uh, donkey and the horses. Yeah, yeah. And I should point out that the sun is setting. Ooh, we need to be camped up inside near a fire kind of thing. Uh, we're still near the windmill. I highly suggest us getting out of here. Yeah. There's no mother and sister. Uh, no, no there's the left. mother. We have the mother. Yeah, the mother. Either way, we need to get out. So we should use the ring and just book it. All right, we can do all this in less than a few minutes. So, yeah, we'll talk, to, talk to the animals, convince them that uh, if they want to live, they'll come with us when they become gas. And off we go. Got to be a lot of talking first. Yeah. All right, come so with, come with me if you want to live. Generally works. <laughs> I've heard. Come I heard. You want to live. <laughs> Okay, I use my ring of animal influence to cast speak with animals. Okay, I'll, I'll aid him, you know, like offering suggestions on what to tell them to come follow us. I am not going to be trying to translate throughout this. I, I figure it's just a roll. Okay, I'm guessing the animal <laughs> handling roll. Yeah, I think he, what he's saying, uh, Ben, is that he, he's got to give you suggestions on what to say. Oh, so all right, you aid. <laughs> I'm not actually going to give you real suggestions. It's a way for my character to assist you in convincing the animals. That's all. All right. Yeah. (sighs) All right. We have obtained more more of the magic that will allow us to travel even faster than you have been aiding us to do so. And we feel that... We are hazardous to your health, health. So we would recommend that you come with us. Uh, no, I said that wrong. It is hazardous of your health to be alone. He's closing this, he's closing this for me with me first. I was like, no, don't say we're <laughs> hazardous to your health. That's a bad <laughs> idea. It is hazardous for your health to be alone. There you go. <laughs> Uh, all right so yeah okay so please follow us as we travel to the next city sorry Hmm? huh am i not speaking no you are i'm wondering if tony is hearing you because i i don't Okay. Uh, are you wanting to roll or something? I'm right now. I'm uh, looking up something. So mm-hmm. give me a second. Mm-hmm. Oh, is it whether right now this is a persuasion or an animal handling? <laughs> <laughs> Don't you have a... Didn't you get a ring? Yeah, I, I cast the spell. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's so it's allowing him to actually communicate and hopefully oh, give us a, okay. a better DC when convincing the animals. Yeah, you I'm can... assisting him so he'll get advantage. <laughs> okay. Uh, Go ahead and roll it. Roll what? Persuasion. Okay. Why is 
you're not rolling. It should be alt for this one if you're doing it at advantage. I try trying. There it goes. Yay. Hmm. Sorry. No, oh, that's fine. Oh. Why can't I hear the dice rolling? All right, so the animals seem agreeable. All right, then uh, I guess we're we're unloading the cart on t onto the living creatures. Okay. Don't forget to explain to them how to turn into a gas. You know. They how to turn back into a gas. I don't properly know how to, but I guess I mentioned what it feels like to do that because I don't think I've ever done it. So why would I even know? Well, just say that you know you'll you'll be turned into air. Follow us and then when we reform you need to reform too we basically it's just a, a, another role hopefully <laughs> <laughs> well either way it will wear off after a while <laughs> so even if they can't figure it out it wears and off they, and they will be safely dropped to the ground yeah mm -hmm. yeah so if uh... worst case scenario we have a bunch of clouds following us around for a little <laughs> for a while Take the most expensive stuff and see if you can just hold on to it for now on the off oh, chance something happens. Oh, of course. Yeah, it well, just it can't be in the cart. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's what I mean. Is like you're talking about loading it up on the horses and stuff. I said uh, on living people, on li on all the living creatures. I okay, I, okay, 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 I get it. I get it. I'm, I'm saying we should take make sure that the most valuable stuff and the magic items are stored on a person and not a horse. Mm -hmm. Agree. Okay. That's All what right. we do. All right, clarification of that. Are we actually going to divide this? Uh, I don't think we really need to. Okay. Uh, unless Tony thinks we need to, but for the most part, can we just assume and like all the heavier coinage is probably going to be on the annals because that's something that's bulky in when you have a lot of it? Yeah. Uh, it's basically brevity's sake. We're, we're splitting the magical expensive items and a heavier coin, as you said, Dave. Stays well, let's just, can we put this off until it's an issue? <laughs> Knowing Tony will probably be in the next five minutes an issue. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, this, 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 is, this is something that needs to be said right now. So it's out in the ether. <laughs> All right, so literally, whatever is in that loot list is magic or uh, like a more expensive art object or something that fetches a lot of money or like gems is getting put on people. The stuff that's getting thrown on the animals is the cheapest denomination coins first and work their way up on whatever coin can't sit on with us. That's essentially what I think we should do. Is everyone in agreement? Um, yeah, we we basically goal. almost have all the, all the magic items on us all, already. Yeah, so oh, I just want to clarify, that's all. Yeah. Course. Yeah, Dave. So you're talking about gold and platinum being on us, but yeah, if probably if, I mean, silver and copper. Platinum, <laughs> the platinum can easily fit on us. The gold's going to be hard. The copper and the silver will definitely have to go on the horses. Mm -hmm. uh, the platinum can all. I can guarantee that there's only 337 platinum coins that can fit between the five of us. No problem. Easy. The mm -hmm. gold is 5,000 gold. That's going to be a little difficult. Yeah, yeah, that's a thousand piece. The silver is fourteen thousand silver. That's going on the animals, and the the copper is two thousand copper. That's going on the animals because it's copper. Yep. And Loris can have thirteen electrum. He can keep them because he's such a cool guy. I love electrum. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Are All we? Right. I, is, I thought electrum is like a special cur um, region currency. No, electrum is just in between gold and platinum. Okay. All right. Not a whole. It doesn't come up very Silver often because gold, everyone. I thought. Yeah. Gold. Uh, yeah, it's it's one of those ones that DMs are dicks when they give them to you. Because <laughs> <laughs> they don't round to ten. So it's like, wait, how much is the word? Uh, they are worth five silver. So you are right. They come between gold and silver. Uh, I, yeah. For some reason, I'm used to them coming in between gold and platinum. I think that was in an earlier version. Electrum oh. is, I know, from the first and second editions. So. Yeah, it's a, it's a currency need that needs to go away in five point five. <laughs> yeah, so honestly, like I said, uh, it's most that, that can go with the silver. It's fine. 
Yeah. Uh, we should definitely we can definitely hold all the platinum between us, and we should be able to hold a decent chunk of the gold between us. Mm -hmm. I'm, uh, I'm just gonna check something real quick. How much a thousand gold weighs, real quick? Uh, probably I think like ten pounds. Uh, uh, I, can, I with my strength it hardly affects me. But uh, uh, you said a thousand gold, right? Yeah. So. Yeah, like I jump up like twenty pounds. So I was, I was half, I was half there. It's twenty pounds for a thousand. That's, that's that's feasible though. That's actually very feasible. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So we, we could definitely divide the gold up amongst us. The platinum, the silver's got to stay with. <laughs> it's it's always staying with the animals. Same with the copper. But mm -hmm. we can definitely easily pass the platinum around, and we should get the majority of the gold passed around. Yep. 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 All right. So I don't see if there's anything else in the loot list that is a. Uh, excuse me. Must be held by people. There's a saddle of the cavalier that can go on one of the animals. It would really love to hold it, but that's a large item. Yeah. Right. Okay. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, can I roll inside of which which animal trusts us the most? Well, I've had my pony the longest, and I've looked after my pony. Oh, uh, yeah. your donkey? Okay. I call it a pony, but it's a donkey. Oh, oh yeah. okay. Well, I guess the, the, the saddle of the cavalier goes on your donkey, then. Yeah, my donkey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Most definitely. My donkey. <laughs> yeah. They're like, he's been protecting that donkey. My donkey. Um, so the, next step, the next step is I will summon the, the djinn. And politely ask him if he would cast Windwalk on us so we can get to our next destination. Oh, and our, and our mounts. What? what? And our mounts. Yes, and our, and our mounts. Yes, and our mounts, please. Uh, and then, you could, then you could probably dismiss him after that because I wouldn't want him to get killed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because. What? <laughs> okay, so you're summoning the djinn. Yeah. And. Okay. Before you summon well, the gin, I want everybody to roll perception checks. That's not right. Uh, if it's invisible, I think I see it because I have the robe of eyes. You have uh, uh, advantage on that now, right? Uh, I'm reading what the robe of eyes is. The robe lets you see in all directions. You have an advantage on wisdom perception checks that rely on sight. I don't see it. Dark vision at <laughs> 120 feet. You can see invisible creature and objects as well into the ethereal plane up to a range of 120 feet. Yeah. Yeah, that's not what this is for. Just making yeah. sure. Sure. Uh, perception. Nineteen sixteen eighteen are gonna be what we're relying on. <laughs> so, uh, as darkness is beginning to fall. Sewell and uh, Gyrolin notice that there's uh, air feels kind of heavy with mist. Uh, Thicker than the normal mist. No. Uh, uh, no. Well, I don't have Arcana, so I wouldn't think to do that. So I just think it's normal weather. It's it's pretty thick. It's, it's it's a it's a mist front coming in. Is it not associated with the gin? I don't think the gin's been summoned yet. Nope. Mm -mm. Okay. And then I'm still asking in character. Is this fog? Uh, is this the fog? Is this fog a part of the gin? I haven't summoned the gin. Oh. Draw my dagger. <laughs> Okay. Are we still summoning the djinn? Uh, if, they, if they say something about the fog, I won't, but... You did mention the fog. Uh, I don't know why we wouldn't. I know as a player why we wouldn't, but as a character, probably not. <laughs> okay. Uh, so that's up to you. I would have mentioned it. Oh. Uh, and... Um... What is uh? A real quick question: uh, Did we get a long rest in? Because I'm scrolling up and it looks like we got it all in. 
Uh, I believe we did, yes. Yep. Okay. So we're actually a, a little bit away from the uh, windmill. Oh, don't forget, I have the weapon of warning, too. So if something tries to sneak attack us, anyone who's within 30 P of me knows it's happening and can't be surprised. Yeah. Um, yeah, you're like a couple of hours away from the windmill. Uh-huh. And then you guys stop for a break, mm -hmm. which was shortly before noon. And you got your long rest in and identified and... Can, can this boy do besides that? He can fight. He's actually a pretty decent fighter, but anything in here is probably going to kill him right away. And then we won't have the ring of chin summoning anymore. Well, he's technically stronger than any of us, so... Yeah, oh, certainly. He gets targeted first, and yeah. any kind of focus fire was going to kill him pretty quick. You guys saw that with the Lich, remember? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Let's see. Uh, should I summon him? I I, I don't know. I, I told you I gave you a warning. I I can't think of a reason for my character to say no. You should not. So uh, my character's uh, not that fin Well, why don't you see if Tony's willing to make you let me do a history check because you're from this land. Yeah. I'm. Yeah. Can I can I roll to see if I know this phenomenon? Sure. You want history or arcana? <laughs> oh, this will definitely have to be history. Yeah, I wish myself luck. <laughs> I, I I had good luck. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, uh, basically this is like the night fog that rolls in uh, on a regular basis when you are relatively close to the mountains. Mm -hmm. And because you're in between mountain ranges at the moment, and next to a river, so yeah. we're like around here right now. Yep, that's what you're saying. Yeah, okay. Can I make a survival check to see if this is the kind of fog that goes like very thick and goes up high, or is it you know just blankets the ground and we can fly up and across and not be worried about it? Sure, go ahead. Okay. Yeah, you're pretty sure that this fog is the kind... It, it's going to be dense, and it's going to be tall. Okay. Uh, so what we're saying is now would not be the time because we can lose each other lost. in this fog. Yeah. <sighs> so this sounds like we need to hunker down for tonight and try this. In the morning, a long rest. Yeah. <sighs> but yeah, until this fog pass, it's best. So no, not I, I say what we do is we follow the road until <laughs> uh, until sundown, and then find mm -hmm. a little cozy place to hunker down. We should need to get as far away from the windmill as possible. Agreed. Okay. Interesting. So basically, you got about an hour of usable light, which would get you, let's see, right about here. Okay. Yeah, well, I definitely should do that. All right. And let's see. My watches. Oh shucks. Uh, <laughs> I'm tuning the watch is perfectly fine. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right, dawn is cracking. Nothing has happened. And it appears it's going to be a clear day now that the mist is clearing off. Well, I guess this will be the perfect opportunity. <laughs> So animals still there. <laughs> yes. Okay. Is so, that stuff still there? 
Yes. I don't trust you, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> it's my character still there. Mm. Yeah, for the moment. And, and for the future, whenever it's my turn for watch, I'm always hiding. So just if there's something going to happen, you got to let me remind me to roll a stealth roll or I'll let me roll a stealth roll because I'll always be hiding. Good, my watch. Okay. All righty then. Uh, so everything looks clear. Everything's everyone's set up. I will summon the djinn. We're headed to Balaki. Yes, we're heading to Balaki. Okay. Um, I'll summon the djinn and politely ask him, "Would you mind uh, casting Windwalk on my my compatriots and our horses and donkey?" Okay. So when he first appears. He mm. looks very guarded. He kind of looks around like he's going to be attacked any moment. And he's like... Wave at him. <laughs> uh, okay. Is that it? You wish for your freedom. Ha <laughs> <laughs> No. <laughs> okay. um, just... You just want one walk on you and your animals, right? Uh, well, uh, my compatriots. Oh, Okay. Yeah, all of us. Uh, we don't, we don't want okay? to fight anything for us. We're just thieves. If it isn't demeaning to you to be our transportation. That's why you always say please. There you go. Manners you make and man. your animals are now Fancy. little puffs of clouds. All right. Uh, let me check something real quick. About the spell? <laughs> yeah. Takes a minute to cast, if that's what you're thinking. Actually, I'm uh, curious about what abilities you have while in gaseous form. Uh, dash and <laughs> turn on gas and <laughs> pretty yeah. much it. But <laughs> can you see? Uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. You can see. You can fly. You just can't. You can't really fight in it. It's kind of what the whole purpose of the form is. It's, it's it's designed for travel and not much else. Okay. Well, you did state that I couldn't roll. You couldn't roll a perception check while using it. That is correct. Yeah, but you can, that doesn't stop you from seeing. <laughs> so no, no rolling, but pa you can passively see. Okay. Okay. So who's the navigator of the cloud folk? Uh, okay. We should have. <laughs> I think that's probably me. I think. Whoever the map bearer is. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think I'd be the one with the highest survival. Yep. Roll a survival check. Uh, like either that, or we could follow the road. Either way. Yeah, <laughs> and then, then I need the Gyrolin. Okay. And then I need Gyrolin to roll a survival check for the animals. Hmm. Why? <laughs> well, because you're the only one who could communicate with them. I'm not communicating with them anymore. It was just an agreement of they will. Okay. That's why I need you to roll a survival check. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I know. I was. <laughs> I thought I could communicate. I thought I made it clear, but I guess I didn't. Alrighty then. Uh, follow the road. <laughs> okay, so you guys follow the road. It takes you less than an hour to get to the city of Lucky. Since you can go, I think it's almost 600, 600. miles a day. Yeah, 600, 600 feet a, uh, a round. So. <laughs> okay. As you guys are flying around. Uh, you see outside of town. 
Can we do that? Yeah, I recommend we land outside of town. Okay. Good. Very much so. <laughs> Did any of the animals stay with us? That would be a negative. Uh, we gotta go find them again. At least. We're not finding them again. <laughs> yeah, we're not finding them again. Uh, God. Yeah, so, for clarification, we lose all the silver and the copper and the saddle of the cavalier, right? That is correct. Okay. Little lady taking care of that? Oh, well, I mean, we also can uh, use the, the compass to try and find them again. Not worth it. Not worth it? All right. I mean, the saddle cavalier is decent, but uh, do we really want to risk walking all over? Uh, <laughs> Barovia to find some horses and a donkey. What was yeah. on there? Copper and what? Copper, silver, and the saddle of the cavalier. Silver. Yeah. Uh, so everyone put a thousand gold into your uh, pockets. And uh, what? You, how many platinum was it? It was three hundred thirty, uh, three hundred seventy-three. Uh, total. You got about five, right? I'm gonna move out of the way. Okay, uh, all right. I, I thought I was on top of somebody. Three hundred and seventy-three. Yep. All right. Okay. My brain. Okay, so uh, one of us is gonna have seventy-five platinum, and the rest of us is gonna have seventy-four platinum. Seventy-five with seventy-four. And you guys uh, are. Just shy of a hundred feet from the uh, east gate. Yeah. Of Lock. I'll, I'll I'll just have the seventy five just so everyone so I just so one but just has it immediately and everyone else has seventy four platinum. So I'm okay. right here seventy four platinum and what was the other count? One thousand. One thousand gold. 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 One thousand and seventy four. Add it to everyone, or just are we just adding? I, I lost track. I'm sorry. Add it to your character. Seventy-four platinum, oh. one thousand. Okay. Gold. Oh, seventy-four platinum. Okay. That that was the split, so we got it off the animals. All right. Just just for funsies, I'll use the seeker's compass to see if I can see which direction my donkey went. Okay. How uh, how often can you use that? Every dawn. All right, I guess we'll wait till tomorrow to find our client. Uh, at this point, I don't think that client matters. <laughs> <laughs> I totally forgot what we were actually coming to Vlaki for. To uh, find uh, the sister of Entrap, um, Yolanda. Uh, maybe I should open up my notes. <clears throat> I don't think the seeker compass would help because I don't, I've never seen them. So it's hard to get a good read on it. Bro. You're fairly confident that the animals actually are on their way back to Barovia. Two of them. Uh, two of them would. Are they following each other? Are the three that we, uh, the two that we bought, following the other two? Um, they're basically following the trail of smell. Oh. Okay. Wow, I did not write down our contract. What the hell? <laughs> that is very unlike me. We d basically got forced to be hired. Oh, there it is. Find Yelena. Yelena. Mm -hmm. He disappeared in Barovia inside the domain of dread. Well, that's right. I'm not taking notes because I'm letting Wade do all that. <laughs> in Barovia, 50 gold I... up front, then 200 upon delivery of Yelena. I haven't been taking notes just because I watched the YouTube videos back. <laughs> Last no, sight in St. Andrew's Cathedral in Balaki. Ding, ding, ding. Oh, yeah, and I actually know where that's at. I suppose I we should. I suppose we should take a day actually asking around before we actually go to magical means. Well, I'm just saying that I know where the cathedral's at. Uh -huh. And because she had a conversation. Sorry, had a conversation with Monsignor Vostholt in the cathedral, so that may be a good place to start. Mm -hmm.
have to get another monitor down here. Uh, $99, 27-inch Dell. Oh, I've, I've, my, well, you can't really see the rest of my basement as a wreck. I'm moving things around. I set up an office on the other end of the basement, and that's where my other monitor is. So I haven't oh. moved my personal laptop down there. Huh? Did we have, uh, some kids show up? <laughs> <laughs> my son is bringing me a blanket. Nice. <laughs> Got to take so, care of you, man. Yeah. How's everyone else doing with the winter storm? <laughs> we have a little bit of ice and about eight inches of snow. Uh, it missed me. Yeah, I live in Wisconsin. <laughs> I live in Wisconsin. I already had that amount of snow. You know, a, couple, a month ago and it's still here so <laughs> yeah we had that a month ago but ours has finally disappeared mostly mostly yeah. they only yeah. come out at night mostly it's supposed to be 50 degrees here tomorrow oh wow 50 uh, I mean I 50? think that might be our high tomorrow maybe I don't Wow. You know, it was like negative 20 here, not like just a couple days ago. Oh, yeah. It, I want to say it wasn't quite negative 20, but I think we were like negative 5, negative 6. You, got, you guys remember what happened in Texas last year was cold, this type of cold to us? Yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was weird because uh, like one morning it was negative 20, the next morning it was 20. It was like, that's a 40 degrees difference. That's a huge difference. Uh-huh. Oh, man. Oh. Go ahead, Hannah. It hit our high was this was seventy, and then the next day, it was like, it was well, the high was actually like forty, but it was the the high was at like six a.m. <laughs> you know, it was can supposed to be like older. thirty degrees by the afternoon. Uh, <laughs> what are we doing in Vallaki? Uh, well, the well, first thing you're doing here. is you're not in Vallaki yet. Yeah, we're 100. And you do hear, who goes there? I look at Loris because I don't. I'm not the face of the party. <laughs> Traveler, Travelers, is that a problem? Put over my head. Do you have a city pass? No. Oh. How? Well, move along. Uh, okay. How do we get a city pass there? Well, you gotta buy one. Where? So I want to insight him real quick. Okay. Uh, want to make sure he's not trying to uh, fleece us here. I'll I'll join you on that. Okay. So I was about to be like, I think I can join. Yeah. Is there a roll, or is someone giving me advantage? I, I'm, uh, I'll uh, give you advantage. I'm right. gonna give you advantage. I'll just roll, and I'll get a four. You get a twenty. Uh, given that you see a total of uh, 10 city guards and at least two of them appear to be officers, you're fairly confident that uh, this is not something he's making up. I kind of indicate that to, to Loris. Well, I'm not the face. <laughs> and how, um, did he the say face. how much the pass is? Nope. Not yet. We don't even know where to get it. How much and where do we get these passes? Mm, boss? And uh, <clears throat> up on the roof is where the uh, officers are. It's like 500 gold pieces each for a permanent pass or 100 gold pieces for a day pass. Can we have a, can we, is it 300 pieces for a three-day pass? No, no, well, if, if we're going to, we might as well buy the, the day, the permanent, the permanent pass. Yeah. Because yeah. I have a feeling we're going to be coming in and out of Alaki often enough. Well, if you uh, look at the map, there's only real three major uh, villages, towns. <laughs> yeah, they, they might as well. I think we all should have the money for that. Well, yeah. Yeah. 500. And, 
Five hundred, yeah. And where do we get these passes at? Plus, <laughs> it's like the city clerk will be along shortly. I'll send one of the men in to uh, fetch him. Why, wow. thank you, sir. Thank you. Is there a distance well, that we need to to stay away to camp up? You can stay right there for now. Um, also, you should be aware, no contraband items are allowed. We have a list. Uh, give uh, give us that list, and does anyone want their fortune read? As I pull out my cards. That's number one on the list is no fortune telling. <laughs> no. Nope. Could you hold on to it until we leave if, if it isn't ridiculous, if it isn't awful to have it? I don't know. That doesn't make sense for contraband. I'm sorry. It's like, well, the short of it is uh, no demonic pets, no imps, no undead. I'm cool with that. No necromancers. Ow. Oh. Don't act guilty. Uh, let's see. You're not carrying any of the, uh, strawed fruit, are you? The what? Don't know what that is. Or do oh, I know what that is? <laughs> I pull out some dried fruit, some of the dried fruit from the elf rations. Looking. No. Do I know what, do I know what that is, by any chance? So, apparently, the sunlight has gotten so bad bad in the areas around uh, Strahd's castle mm -hmm. that it is a type of pear uh, that barely grows and uh, basically it looks like a furry wingless bat. I, I kind of nudge Loris and say, we should find out why they don't want those. <laughs> Maybe it's something we need to avoid. Yeah, but yes, I agree. Let's not ask the ask at the gate. Maybe somebody in a tavern can enlighten us. Perhaps the Monsignor can tell us. Uh, I, I turn around. Can you, uh, can you gentlemen check? If, make sure we don't have any of that. <laughs> I, I am reasonably sure we don't. I don't have anything on the loot list that mm. even would resemble a, a fruit. And your and DM Yuri confirmed that it's not the. It's not within the elf rations. Nope, it's not in the elf rations. Okay. All right. All right. So, oh, I think we're good at all counts on that. No. Yeah. Okay. Is 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 the is the fond memory of my pet pet uh, pseudo dragon uh, too necromantic to you? Mm. Memory of is fine. No conjuring dragons in, in the city. Right. Understandable. So does the clerk come along? Yeah. Uh, it takes about 20 minutes. Uh, in the meantime, one of the other guards is kind of like looking you guys over, looking at your elf rations, going, Oh, they seem to be clear, boss. Oh, yes. Nothing but compliant. That's us. Mm -hmm. you, you guys, uh, like I offered to uh, give you a little performance with uh, some fortune telling, if you would like. You seem to be here for a while. Uh, they all kind of look at you somewhat suspiciously, like, ah, just move along. <laughs> and subtract 500 gold each. 500 gold? Each. Yeah. Each. That's 50 Ooh. platinum. We should all have that. <laughs> yeah, I, I but could, you know what? You have a permanent pass to the city. Yep. Yeah, that's why I said we might as well do that instead of a day pass. I mm. mean, shouldn't we get rid of literally our lower our thousand down to 500 at first? Oh, yeah. That's what I did. My weight dropped. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Uh, we have a handy haversack, right? Or no? That, no, that's the other game. 
No, we have yeah. Andy after that. Okay, cool. We do? Yeah, we, yeah, yeah. we do. For some reason, in both games, you guys gave it to me. Yes, because we <laughs> think that you won't. For whatever reason, we think you won't die. I should have put the silver in there. Because I am a coward. That's I why I won't die. By the way, Handy Aversack can't hold nearly as much as the uh, bag of holding. Oh, probably a lot like, less. We don't have yeah. much in it to begin with, is my point. No, we don't. Oh, that's, well, a, good, you know? that's a good thing. Point. Well, well, you have... it. Oh, oh, well. Then <clears throat> down now. Yep. Yeah, right. but now we can. If we want to, we can concentrate some items back into there, but we don't have to. At least I don't. I'm good on my weight. I need uh, to lose. I need to ditch a little bit of weight. Maybe we one day fight. we'll we'll find why the horses. Uh, maybe one day you'll find one of the horses' bones. <laughs> All right. It's at the at the rate they're traveling, they're back at Barovia already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, then they uh, they reformed, and then people are like, "Oh crap, ghost horses, kill it!" <laughs> Wait, they've got a lot of silver. <laughs> yeah, uh, so people are gonna go ghost hunting a lot. We just started a new trend that'll get a lot of people killed. Exactly. <laughs> <sighs> uh, let's see. So, um, what do I have? I have a Balaki City Pass. Yes. Oh, okay. We should add those to our inventories. Yes. Oh, sorry. There's tools to purchase, procure magic items. What would that be? Of the carrying capacity kind. I don't think I added the loot. <laughs> oh, hey. Anybody editing the loot list right now? I think I closed it. Is it still open? Okay. No, I don't have it open. Well, I was opening. I just wanted to make sure I wasn't going to screw anybody up if I wrote down the fact that it looks like the terrain is in uh, the haversack. Does the guard let me know if there's a place to purchase? Magic items? Uh, there is. Oh, good. Uh, actually, Wait. Vlaki is, I believe, the single largest city in Barovia. Uh, uh, if I pull it up, uh, you are correct. It's Vlaki, then Krezik, then uh, the village of Barovia. Those would be the order of size. Yeah. I, I would we unload and at least procure one bag of holding. If possible. Uh, agreed. Agreed. Uh, I'll even pay for it if it's not too expensive. <laughs> I'll chip in if, if we need more. Yeah. So it's First still game. early and there's nobody in the streets. I mean, uh, like early as in like 5 a.m. early? Yeah. Okay. There's plenty of people on the streets at 5 a.m. <laughs> Is not there... Really, uh... Is there the smell uh, of smoke from fires, cook fires? Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, and and you see candles here and there and a couple of windows, but, uh, yeah. I it, see if the magic shop's open. Uh, there's a sign that says, uh, back at 7 a.m. Hmm. Let's say Bob, Bob's weird assortment of goodies. Uh, well, I say we get room and board, then. For at least, I'm gonna say survive. Shelter and water, or in this mm -hmm. case, a an inn and a tavern. Inn, a tavern, and a bed. Yep. <laughs> okay. So, uh, so there's oddly enough the the city of Velaki taverns and inns are actually separate entities. They don't allow taverns in their inns. All right. Well, it, it, it minimizes the uh, brawl damage. Number one. Number two, paying customers of inns get good night's sleep. Now, there are a couple of shady places where they 
basically are running speakeasies, which would not be difficult to find. Would not, I rather would not have my throat slit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, let's just go find an inn. I mean, we can. We're inside the city now. I think we can hold out until the morning to find food. So, co common traders in will run you a silver piece a night per person. Uh, the higher end ends for the like royals and diplomats and stuff like that will be a gold piece a night per person. It has a lock. That'll be the higher end ones. Uh, I will. I will rent a room for a week or for ten days. I'll give give them a platinum. Okay. Uh, are we do? Are we? Are we limiting it up, or are we going mid more? We're well, limiting it up, oh, especially for resting and resting with all these magic items with us without a lock. No, uh, a lock. This, I want a lock. Uh, side note, uh, Tony, I'm guessing the higher end has like a the higher end in uh, has a. Uh, has a more of a security around it well yeah typically it has its own guards that it pays for and a concierge service dropping a platinum yeah, <laughs> oh, she doesn't know how to, what to do here he's like i don't know why half the stuff is in my room but okay <laughs> do we have a name for this establishment sure Page here. The Waltham Wint Hotel. I will paste that in the chat. Please do. Uh, <laughs> them off. All right. I guess we should try to stay together. So, ever, so I, get, I think we'll all do that together to some degree. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm still doing it. <clears throat> you know, I mean, I already took, I already took my platinum off. I am. Uh, I, I might go to someone else and knock on their doors. Like, what the hell is some of this? What is some of this stuff? No, so don't ask me. What stuff? What stuff? Like the day. Yeah, like the thing he's floating <laughs> out. Of here. It's a a place you can fill up your water bottle. <laughs> okay. Um. The water dispenser so close to the ground. <laughs> so you guys have secured a room. Uh, you don't have any animals to secure. Not anymore, don't. And uh, apparently, uh, the innkeeper's like, y "You <laughs> did you guys come by a royal carriage or something?" No, we flew in. Say, we're looking for a magic shop. Well, there are three in town. Could you give us the names? Sure. Molary and Curly. Great. Which one would you recommend? <laughs> uh, I guess it depends on what you're looking for. I will put another platinum on the table and, and make, sure, make sure it's the uh, honest ones. <laughs> well... I mean, basically, they're all honest. There's just, there's the one called Make Your Life Easy uh, item shop. And basically, they have stuff that just kind of, you know, on the cheap side, but it tends to make people's lives a little easier in some fashion. Uh, then there's the Griffin Claw Shop. That sounds like a weapon. Um, his inventory seems to shift uh, significantly over time. And uh, last but not least is the uh, woolly bear. I like it already. <laughs> uh, now, Woolly Bear Shop specializes in high-end, uh, generally tactical magic stuff. My mouth waters. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> and uh, what, what kind of coin did you put down? Put down a platinum. Lisa. And there's sometimes there's a rumor that there's a uh, black market magic exchange, so to speak. Uh, but nobody really knows where it is. Uh, at least no honest folk. <laughs> is there is is there a Brewers Guild Guild outpost here? Why yes, there is. All right. Why do you ask? I am a I am a member. I just didn't know its position. Ah, well, glad to meet you. I am, of course. I am the Vlaki Brewers Guildmaster. What the? I am ever so sorry. Why are you sorry? Uh, yeah. You're a member. You should be happy. Here, I, here's I, a token. Go across I, the street and you get free samples of any kind of brew you want. I'm also here to pay pay for my back my back dues and hand him two platinum. It's like, oh, much appreciated. Uh, here, make sure you write down your uh, name and member number so we get it uh, annotated to the correct account. Of course. Why, thank you. Anything else we can help you with? Yes. Could you point us the direction of the... Wait for it, wait for it. Scanning notes. Oh, shit. Are you looking for and Andrell's uh, cathedral? There you go. That's the one. I almost think we could a cathedral. It makes me think we could almost see it from the street as long as there was light out. Sure, one would think, but you could also ask, and someone could tell you. So, I asked. yeah, uh, the uh, cathedral's uh, roughly ten blocks to the north, another five blocks to the northwest. Yeah, you hmm. can't miss it. In fact, yeah. uh, here in uh, roughly 20 minutes, 25 minutes, you'll hear the cathedral's bells toll. Mm-hmm. Very good, very good. And don't forget to pet the gargoyles on your way in. Pet the gargoyles. Good Got luck. <clears throat> Is that like rubbing Buddha's belly? It's bad luck not to rub the gargoyle. Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> uh, I'm just like I should mention uh, you might want to guard your wallet around the cathedral. Oh, uh, I, we've I hear, I hear things, you know. We've rented those rooms. Could we, could we leave stuff inside them? Oh, sure. Uh, just make sure and could lock we, your doors. Instead of leaving stuff of the, inside them, do you have a uh, vault? Uh, well, I do. Um, Does it cost money to temporarily store stuff in there? <clears throat> it does. It, it's not. It's not very expensive. This just became Ocean's Eleven, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I Ocean Eleven did. I'm gonna insight check and make sure he's on the level with that. Okay, he seems to be on the level, but you're fairly confident he's hiding something. Well, then I would like to to I destroy this. I, I give the I give the look to Loris when he when I get that, and Loris and I have been traveling long enough where he should get the look of you know something slightly off. Mm-hmm. I, I should mention, uh, anything you put in the vault, make sure it is not of an extra dimensional spacey thing. Oh, <laughs> of course. Is this wondrous figurine of is this figurine of wondrous power in an extra dimensional space holding an animal, or is it actually a figurine that summons a creature to it? Yeah, it's just a figurine that summons, yeah. Okay. 
Ooh, what else you could talk about? Portable holes, handy haversacks, bags of holding, and I think there's one other item that creates an extra dimensional space. Uh, uh, bag of devouring. Yeah, yeah. Technically. <laughs> Horrible yep. story. None, none of those things. You know, I didn't say that loud. A school doesn't know oh, that. Okay. <laughs> I was just clarifying it for uh, Ben. Yeah, that's all. Sure. Interesting. Was that okay? We just want to make sure that uh, there are no accidents, and let me tell you. It we just is make, well guarded. We just want to make sure we don't blow this into the block off. I agree. Right. So the cathedral's north northwest, and the shops you gave us names, and what else do we need, friends? Um, I don't know. That's it. For, for now, and, and kind of indicate, don't, don't you need your your supplies for advancement? Ink, paper, my friend. Oh, I thought I had ink and paper, but you don't have. I wouldn't think you have magical. You need magical. He just needs enough that is like special ink and paper. And it's got to be worth a certain amount in order to transcribe. Exactly. It's yeah, like 50, 50 gold per level, except for half cost for the... the I, actually, you're a war wizard, so there's no half cost, I don't think. Yeah, no. Yeah. So, and uh, and also a shop where I could uh, pick up some supplies, arcane supplies. Would that I thought be we already covered that with magical, yeah. Hold on. A magic shop may not be an arcane supply shop. Ah, uh, yes. That's why I'm asking if I could finish the sentence. Yep. Did one of these shops take care of uh, magical supplies, ink, paper, components. Oh yes. Uh, that'd be Booger Brody's. I'm sorry. I said <laughs> that'd be Booger Brody's. That's what I thought you said, and that's the name of a shop. Yep. The owner's name is Booger. Clever. Uh, it's a nickname he picked up somewhere. Can't Don't imagine know. why. <laughs> Don't want to know how. Mind you, though, there's a... Uh, Booger's Booger. got a friend who's not <laughs> entirely bright, but he is, is it big. Is it fingers? <laughs> no. Kind of. They call him Animal. Animal. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Let's go down to Booger's place and hang out. No. Uh, wow. Alrighty. <laughs> okay. Anything else we need? I think we need to rest about an hour and 20 minutes and then head to uh, the that first shop he mentioned, the happy item shop. And then maybe go to the, uh, if you have anyone else wants to do shopping, I, yeah. Have we eaten? Uh, I imagine we ate trail rations. We're probably pretty hungry. Yeah, this is probably yeah you had time in front of the gate. So, yeah, you probably oh, ate okay. some of the rations since you were breaking them out anyway for inspection. All right. Did we kill an hour, right? Uh, sure. Yeah. I kill an hour. Uh, uh, it's available. I'd like to store directly store the potion of greater healing and the figurine of wondrous power. Um, a soul. Okay. Uh, so, uh, hang on, Darlin. Yes. You're you're storing what items? The potion of greater healing and the figurine of wondrous power. Okay. Uh, are you telling him what they are? If he desires it, uh, it's more I'm offering them to be stored within the vault, and if he asks, they are. Okay. Uh, Jairlin, roll a perception check. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, why 
and then it show up. Ooh, that showed up for me. What did you roll? Uh, 14. Okay. No pluses? I have no pluses. Okay. okay. I actually have a negative one and a plus one. So you see, basically, he turns around, he opens a little door. It is completely black when he opens the door. And there seems to be a hole in the floor. And you see, basically, all you see are two talents that make a pincer motion and grab each item uh, from him as he hands them to whatever it is. And then he closes the door. Search a curious storage system. Did he ask for what they were? Nope. Okay. All he I said is, is you're sure they're not... Uh... To the best of my knowledge, okay. have... he's getting a, a claim ticket for when he wants to reclaim the stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he immediately fills one out and hands it, hands it to you. Why, thank you. I want to secretly change it to, to instead of figuring a wondrous power, say giant dildo. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's what Dave wants to do. Dude. That's what I Sorry about that. Do. <laughs> no, he's not going to store his. He's going to keep it with him. <laughs> I mean, it's already stuck up my butt. That's my prison pocket. I, I'm just like, I don't have enough perception to, to not get pickpocketed, so. All right. Asul. Uh, we keep looking, losing track of you. No, uh, you don't. Uh, hair, tooth, or fingernail? It's disgusting. Pick one. None. Well, I need you to have this because you keep we keep losing track of you. Uh, hair. Yeah. Uh, he, uh, he he yanks a few strands of hair, um, braids them together, and is like, oh, and put that somewhere on your person. I'm gonna insight check him. I don't <laughs> know what this is. He's stealing your soul. <laughs> Well, I mean, I know as a player what it is, but Hasul doesn't know what it is. No, I tell him. I tell you that he's stealing your soul. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's funny. <laughs> it's only rolled a ten, he's but a the dice showed a twenty. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I guess I guess I got a. Or was that a one? Did it, did it count it as a one? Oh, it counted as a four, but the dice showed twenty. That's so weird. Oh well. Lies. Lies. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fine. It's whatever's on there is fine. I just it was funny because the dice are, are set to not display what is actually rolled. No, I'm just saying that you know it's it, it decided to screw with you basically. What's that? Uh, okay. uh, I'm debating whether I'm actually going to keep it or not. Uh, 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 allow me to communicate and find where you're at if we lose track of you. And I am. With, I'm not lying, so... <laughs> oh, I asked you how. Uh, just part of who I am is magical base. He's making it's a hard Mm-hmm. Is it infectious? <laughs> no, it's not. I'm going to insight check him. Insight check. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Oh, wait, wait, wait. Do you have a dark power? What's that? Do you have a dark gift? I do. <laughs> Ooh, you get to do that roll. Yeah, not yet. Oh, yeah, I do have to do it. No, that's right. Uh, let me look yeah. there. I think it's a D4. Oh, good. It's beneficial. What? Out of curiosity, what is your ancestry? <laughs> Who are you asking me? Person. You have no idea. I'm no, the no. From head to toe. No, I meant uh, uh, Yoshi. Yoshi? Uh, you have no clue. <laughs> of course he doesn't have a clue. That's why he's asking. <laughs> Is he character asking me? 
No, it's more like I. It's. I don't. I'm. It was just out of curiosity at this point. Right now, I guess I just think you're human. Oh, I, was uh, I do not look human at all. We have to oh, okay. this the next time someone makes a attack roll, ability check, or saving throw within third of me, thirty feet of me, including me. Uh -huh. If Let's it's go positive, ahead. we add it to the roll. If it's negative, we minus it from the roll. Oh, nice! You got a good one. And I will describe. I will describe it when it happens. So. <laughs> All right. right. Are you gonna meta do it and just be like, I you do search for, I search for spare change. No, I'm gonna do that. My okay. guy's not aware of this feature yet. He just got this stuff not too long ago. All Pretty right. Intense, so. All right. Uh, so you are dark. You are almost drow looking, like your picture. Uh, yeah. I'm. Uh, yeah. I'm very much drow looking. White hair. I actually have a crown of uh. Around around my head that, uh, it's it's like kind of peeks through my hair and whatnot. All right, all right. Sorry for that tangent. That yep. Yeah. Yeah, uh, <laughs> with that one. <laughs> it's a tiara. It's a tiara. <laughs> okay. That was that was my favorite part of that whole series. That that yeah. one line. It's a tiara. It's like tiara. What do you want I'm gonna look at that. Oh, she's not gonna like it, Tiara. Oh, it's a tiara. <laughs> That's the best part of that entire show. <laughs> uh, so we're headed to a magic shop, correct? Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm. I'm just waiting for Asul to take the hair, the the nicely braided hair. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I will take it, but I'm gonna roll a sleight of hand check. And I need people to actually beat that if uh, they want to see something. <laughs> now I went over to uh, to fulfill to give my to give my thoughts on their current brewing. Okay. For the for the hour we're waiting. Can anyone beat a seventeen? Yes. Okay, Lawrence. <laughs> uh, anyone else beat a seventeen? Oh, I'm gonna find out one way or the other, cause I, <laughs> so I don't even need to roll. <laughs> right, can you do the seventeen? Uh, no, you you can't. Uh, slide can you be, ask my answer my question. Can you be the seventeen? Uh, I mean, I can try, but I don't need to, cause I will automatically yes, you know. Because it's not what you think is I'm doing. Okay. Can you be the seventeen? Nope. No. Uh, okay. Hasn't so? Isn't this a roll of an ability check? It is. Uh, I did roll a two earlier, so it would add on to mine. So I guess it's a nineteen, actually, since I rolled first. Thank you for reminding me. Uh, I totally forgot, even though we just talked about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, actually, that is a nineteen, which I think uh, Loris and Tugo are the only people that can see it. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so what you guys see is I kind of reach out, but a split second before I pick it, you see kind of my shadow extend off of my hand and kind of pick ah. it and hold it for a split second. Like just to test it to see if anything bad's gonna happen, and then it comes into my hand. All right. Yes. All right, and then you hear in your head, "Can you hear me?" Look at you. Just, just plain look. I don't respond. <laughs> <laughs> Good. That should that, keep. That's why I wanted you to roll because it wasn't what you thought it was. Yeah. No. Yeah, okay. I was like, wait. I was like, I don't know if it works or not. Chiralin, do you sample any of the wares at the brew shop? Of course, I, I'm there to, to critique to, or and judge, for myself at least. I won't, okay. I won't, out of politeness, I won't directly mention it. Uh, do me a favor, roll a Constitution check. All right, is my resistance to poison any bit involved? No. Okay. I'm not seeing his roles for some odd reason. <laughs> you aren't? You need to yeah. check to see if you're on public or hidden. I don't... Yeah, I'm on public. Hmm. Actually, no. Uh... I hear it, but I don't see it. I, I can see the roll. Uh, <laughs> I see the dice rolling, but it doesn't export to the chat. Oh. Uh, I mean, are, you, it has... are you doing it from your sheet or are you doing it from a macro bar? Sheet. 
Okay. Um, All right. It, it's fine. Yeah. I got a 22. I know. Oh, see, all right. I, I do see the 22. It was hidden, wasn't it? No. As far as I can tell, no. Okay. Mm. Well, I, I see the 22 now. Maybe it's just a uh, big I, delay for some people. Yeah. Yeah, because I, I could see the 22. I just got refreshed. Just in case. All right. Uh, so, Jirelin, while you're in the brew area, uh, let's see. You are handed a note by one of the people serving you. I finally actually checked my notes. I'm not actually. I'm in the the chef's guild, not not the brews guild. I just have proficiency in brewing skill. Damn it! Sorry. <laughs> Someone has partaken in too many mushrooms. Hey, I ate those mushrooms and they had no effect on me. <laughs> uh... Mushrooms are fine. No, they're not. They're not. Yes. Stop. They are. <laughs> uh, they suck. I'm in it. <laughs> it is ridiculously hard to get the mushrooms out of to test the mushrooms out of chocolate. All right, you should have your note. Where cool. is uh, loot? Plus two. Okay, that's weird. I thought I had changed this. Card name, good lord. Oh, quite interesting. Why, thank you. Oh, you're quite yeah. welcome. I thought as a newcomer, and as a uh, a guild of the city's member, uh, you should be aware of that. <clears throat> hmm. And you can pay any guild master, by the way, of any discipline. They'll make sure uh, they all have all agreements right. that any payments made are cross paid. About how much? Uh, usually, if you're going to be in the city more than a week, uh, at least a gold piece. All right. I believe I overpay already a bit. To a bit. Has it been? How many? How, has it been? How long were we traveling again? About four months? Oh, three months? It wasn't quite that long. I, I, I think, I think, uh, was it like, I thought it was like three weeks, three yeah. weeks. What's okay. It? I was paying ahead already with the, with the master before. So. Okay. He just smiles and shakes his head. Kind of. Yes. The guy doesn't mm. look too entirely bright. Um, and he has a pile of these notes in his hand. Right. And they all seem to say the same thing. Mm. Quite the... Quite mm -hmm. the job you got there. Uh, it, it allows me to pay my bills. I imagine so. Yeah. All right. I don't, I don't generally get any extras, though. You look kind of like a rich feller. <laughs> what makes you say that? Well, you don't have any uh, poo or <laughs> food particles Just... splattered across your clothes. I'm magical and then prestigitate his, his, his shoe. Covered in poo. 
Sorry, I had to make it rhyme. <laughs> um, uh, how do you know he's a king? Guess he's got shit all over him. Help help me refresh. Alright. Uh let's see. I need to use the restroom. So let's know. take a short break. Yeah, good call. Yeah. Gotta go to the bathroom too. BRB. Hit the hit the break time button. Like I think it's shift space will set break time. I think he's gone. Oh, okay. <laughs> gone by yeah, time. I think he got the uh <laughs> he got the headphones off. Be right back.